Hello, I'm Stephen Wilkinson from microscopes.com.au and today I'm going to do a review on three different types of microscope iPhone adapters and compare them to one of our dedicated uh, digital microscope cameras, a Tactus microscope. So I'm going to be showing you the Celestron NexYZ smartphone adapter. Now this particular adapter you can use with any smartphone. So that's all the iPhone range and your Android um, smartphones. And then we've also got the, the dedicated iPhone uh, smartphone adapters. Uh, we've got the, the Labcam, that's the original version and also the, the new Pro version. Now there's quite a, a difference in the price range. So the with the Celestron, I picked this up off eBay for a hundred dollars, and the Labcam original. These retails around four hundred Australian, and the Pro around five hundred Australian. Now the the camera that I cho chose to do a comparison with is a around about that price range. So this one's around about four hundred Australian price range now. There are a, a large a number of uh, microscope cameras you can purchase at all different price points. This is one of our uh, budget range of cameras. So I'm going to start with the Celestron adapter. Now this, when I first got it out of the box, I thought it looked quite complicated to use, a bit over-engineered. There's a lot of adjustments and um, <coughs> different adjustments on this adapter so I fitted my phone to the adapter so it's a universal adapter so you can fit uh, any phone to this uh, adapter and then it comes with two eyepiece holders it comes a 30mm and a, a small one for 23mm eyepieces now with the Celestron you actually keep the eyepiece on the microscope. Unlike the lab cam, they have their own independent lenses, um, but you're actually relying on the lens of the of your phone to take your photographs with the with the cheaper Celestron. So we adjust the the clamp to fit onto the eyepiece. We just simply tighten that up. Then you turn on your camera on your phone. Now what you have to do, you have to adjust the XY mechanism and you have to central it with the eyepiece to the camera of your phone. Now it just tends to be a bit of a sweet spot where you just get it right. And then there's a fourth adjustment. Now this adjusts the, the camera distance from the eyepiece to the mic to your iPhone camera. He said with all those adjustments you just get a, a little sweet spot. And there it is. Now we can zoom in and you can take your photographs and then you adjust your microscope to adjust your field of view. So you just take a picture and that stores the picture to your your camera's uh, picture gallery. So I'm going to put the lab cam on now. So the lab cam are the Pro and the original are very similar. They both, both come with a 30mm adapter and a 23mm adapter because when using these you don't actually use the eyepiece on your microscope to take that out because they've got their own optical lens built into this adapter. Now it's a pre-moulded shape adapter that only fits a specific model of iPhone. So I'm using an iPhone 10 that clips into the holder very nice and snugly held 
I did find that the drawback of using the lab cam adapters is that when you upgrade your phone you can't use the adapter you have to buy a new adapter and they are quite expensive at four and five hundred dollars um, and if you like me you change your phone every two years it can get quite an expensive uh, habit really unless I suppose if you if you do buy a new phone you can always use the original phone with this adapter um, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you what it's uh, what it like, what well, they're both like on the on the microscope. So again, you open up the the camera on your phone. Now that just fits in the eyepiece. Now the difference between the original and the pro version is that on the original, which, which is what I've got fitted at the moment, it's got a smaller field of view. You can see the the whole circle of the eyepiece. Now you can zoom in and again you can control the specimen by looking at the um, looking through the on your camera and also adjusting the stage. Now what I did find is the difference between focusing the the camera and the difference between the monitor with the, the camera on the monitor is having the bigger monitor, you are able to um, see a specimen a lot more in detail in much bigger monitor and you're able to focus your microscope a lot easier it's very difficult to focus your specimen with the the phone that I, I did find and that goes for all of the iPhone um, adapters in the Celestron as well so I'm just going to put on the LabCam Pro Now the difference you see here is that the, the field of view is much larger, so you see more of your specimen on your, on your, your camera, and again you can zoom in, and you can take pictures and, and video as well. Um, very good quality image, image reproduction. I did find that the, the downside of the pro version was that when you're looking at very angular specimens under a, a stereo microscope for example uh, if you're looking at something like a, a small PCB board like this the there is a lot of curvature on the outside edges and that is eliminated when you when you zoom into your specimen now we've got uh, over 40 sample images on our website and they are comparison images of using the camera, the Celestron and both the LabCam adapters and it's a, um, it's, a, it's a comparison of what each specimen looks like with each adapter and the, the microscope camera. So please take a look for yourself and see what you think about the, the comparisons on our website. So that's uh, microscopes.com.au mm -hmm.